and 10 game that you guys will play what do you expect to see out of your guys that are playing today you know we just want to execute um, make sure that it's not too big in the moment for a lot of these young guys getting their first ever NFL action difference between what they've been doing since April and now as we get the tackle so uh, we're just looking for execution one of the guys uh, that up in the booth they were talking about was Will McDonald what can fans expect out of him and how's it been going for him in camp in year two he's been having a really nice camp uh, between Arizona State and LSU and over 3,000 rushing yards. Dual threat can create when things break down. On a handoff for Brian Robinson Jr. trying to expect him to show out today in this game. McDonald, second year from Iowa State. Daniels, that's too high. He skied it over the head of the diminutive Austin Eckler and it's gonna set up third down and six. Up in the inside, a lot of short passing game in the joint practice uh, between these two teams because of the pressure they're expecting from the Jets. Jeff Holbrook's done a great job. He wants to be really vanilla in this game and just bring the guys, let them play in their positions and execute at a high level. Holbrook in his fourth year as the D.C. under Robert Sala. They're down in six, opening possession of the day for Washington. Shotgun formation for Daniels. Spread it out on third down. Daniels pulls the trigger, looking for the deep ball down the sideline. And it's hauled in. Deyami Brown, great snag for the first down. I'll tell you, it's a great catch. This coverage is really good. Watch 29, Bernard Converse. He's following, tracking. He's got his arm on the offensive player and shoots up, just misses the ball. But an incredible catch uh, by the Ravis here. It's a nice clear if you're Jaden Daniels. The story from the joint practice was he was throwing off his back foot quite a bit because of all the pressure. Pitch it. Robinson, big back. Tried to cut it upfield. He gets limited to four and a half yards on the play as Jalen Key, rookie out of Alabama, makes the stop for New York. Yeah, a lot of draft picks will play today. Robert talked about young players really stepping in and showing out. It's a heck of a job on the tackle there by Jalen Key. Uh, a key component to Alabama's defense, a jack of all trades, looking for him to grow as kind of a developmental guy as they get into the year. That pass play, Daniels to Brown, covered 42 yards, setting Washington up now inside the 20-yard line. We'll call it second and five. Robinson remains in there. Out of the pistol, Robinson breaking tackles. He's got a first down out near the 10-yard line. Robinson, good power at 6'1", 228. Chaz Surratt, the fourth-year linebacker formerly with Minnesota, makes the tackle for New York. Try to find their way. He's been watching some of the great players they have that aren't playing today. Line of scrimmage is now the 12. Daniels, the rookie, operating out of the gun. Swing pass. Caught by McLaurin, tried the spin move, and he's brought down after picking up three yards on the perimeter. Tackle made by Bernard Converse, the second-year defensive back from LSU. So second down and seven. Commanders went 4-13 and 13 last year, lost their last eight games of the season. Ron Rivera got let go, replaced by Dan Quinn, former assistant coach for the New York Jets, a Morristown, New Jersey native. Give it. Robinson. Rugged runner to the five. Four-yard pickup. It's third down. Tackle made by Eric Watts. He's a rookie out of UConn. One thing Jets defense has pride themselves on, among other things, is red zone defense. Good opportunity here to try to shoot them down, hold them to at least Anders. So the joint practice a couple of days ago. Jets felt really good about what they saw. First teamers getting a lot of reps. No Aaron Rodgers because of the rain. Third down and three. From the gun. Daniels on a give. Straight ahead run. Eckler got stood up. Second effort will be enough for the first down. Jalen Key got in there. But that's going to place Washington in a to get accustomed to. Virtual line to gain measurement is what we're working off of right now. Brandon Cruz, by the way, who's the umpire, is getting an opportunity to be the referee and to get on microphone.
This is something the NFL works on every preseason when they see some officials that are rising up the ranks. Get them a free look. So good for Brandon Cruz getting an opportunity here. Our referee today is the veteran Carl Cheffers. So this new technology that the NFL is working with, Hawkeye technology using this in the preseason. It's virtual animation on first down measurements. We're all used to the chain gang. This is what we grew accustomed to through the years, every level of football. Now this is different. So eventually we're gonna get a look at this and so will the fans. It'll pop up on the big screen. That means the players, the coaches, the broadcasters, the fans, the officials all find out at the same time. There's a lot of buildup here. Hopefully it's a little quicker as we move into the season too. But yeah, tech is great, right? To, to get those visuals, to see how it looks. I mean, it's ever growing, right? The technology. The NFL's always trying to expand, make the experience better. Here we go. For the fans. Love it. Yeah, it's great. HD uh, up on the screen there. It's really nice. Yeah, a lot, lot of pixels. <laughs> So it's first and goal inside the two, in reality. Long drive here for Washington to open up. Started at the 30-yard line after the ball was kicked through the back of the end zone. Robinson is in there. Good power. And he gets clubbed right at the line of scrimmage. Michael Clemens. So Clemens getting some reps here. As mentioned, Hassan Reddick, the holdout continues on the last year of a three-year, $45 million deal coming over from Philadelphia. Big golf season here for Clemens, right? You're talking about a guy that has to step up. They're looking for him, a more fluent pass rusher. We see the size and strength clearly can stop the run, but he's a guy that's really performed and worked hard in his pass rush. We'll get to see that today. Tenth play of the drive. Robinson sets up to the outside of Daniels, and this play whistle dead, flagged down. Jets pointing in Washington's direction. False start, offense number 67, five yard penalty, at second down. And that is Nick Allegretti who came over from Kansas City as a free agent, three year, $16 million deal. That's close, <laughs> could have went both ways there, but must have been a little bit of a head bob there that got the defender to rise. So the second and goal gets backed up just inside the eight yard line. We're down to 940 to play in this opening quarter. Eckler now replaces Robinson based on where they are on the field. Shotgun formation for Daniels. Second and goal. Eckler keeps the legs churning. And he gets buried at the three. Picks up four yards on the play. The former Charger who signed a two-year 11.4. Michael Clemens, Will McDonald, Tanzel Smart. Bunch of Jets were there to greet him and bring him down, setting up third and goal. Yeah, you know, it's nice that these second and third string guys for the Jets are going against starters. Really, McLaren's out there. This is the element he brings to this. LSU, yeah, dynamic passer, but when you got an Eckler and a combination there, nice job by the receiver clipping the, the slot defender there, Jalen Key, see the tight ends coming off. They were able to really lock the edge, bigger bodies on smaller defenders for the Jets and an easy walk-in touchdown for, for Daniels. Isaiah Oliver tried to range over to make the play, but didn't have the direct angle to do it. 11 plays, eight runs. It is Ramiz Ahmed on for the extra point. And a 7-0 lead for the Commanders. Pretty good way to start for...